Hi guys. So, um, it may come uh, as a surprise for uh, many of you that I sold the NXT at a low, uh, an all-time low, the past two years. And um, I've long said the past two years that that's not a wise thing to do. Uh, you should invest more as it goes down so, um, and, and, and the risk reward becomes better, the cheaper an investment becomes. And so you should raise your exposure and so buy more as it goes down. And then inversely, when something has gone up or gone up a lot, you should, um, the risk reward becomes pretty bad, bad and you should um, sell um, uh, and lower your exposure. Um, I'm starting to think that this was really <laughs> very bad advice and very uh, wrong way to invest in startups. Because that's the thing I've I've realized is that this is true when you invest in the stock market um, or just in big assets like gold or or or, or real estate or that when uh, that you have these cycles of bubbles and busts and but um, and so and so then that's true but with startups it's a very different story. Um, and actually Bitcoin, when I invested 2012, the total market cap was 100 million. It was a startup and uh, today I uh, invest in Cell 411 or I invest also in NXT and clumps, the cryptocurrencies, but those are startups. It's And then I think there's something very different. Uh, you should uh, uh, follow very different rules. And I think the right rule is that from startups, nine and 10 fail and we go to zero and then one in 10 succeeds and one in 100 or one in 1000 succeeds very big. And so I always remember what Peter Thiel said uh, when he asked some, some uh, other venture capitalists, like what's the biggest mistake you made? And he said, Peter Thiel answered the question himself later on. He said, my biggest mistake is that I didn't invest more in the winners. Because hey, you have investment rounds and for example, you invest in Facebook originally as one of the first in outside investors, but then in every and in the later investment rounds, he didn't invest more, which he could have done. And then he would have uh, made more profits, but he didn't do that. And um, that's his biggest regret, he said. And I think, yeah. Um, for me, um, my tendency would be, as I did with Bitcoin, and is as it goes up, is actually I would certainly not invest more in it. No, I would take money off the table. And 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 and, and if you look at what Peter Thiel regrets, is not that he took money off the table. He didn't even do that. No, he just failed to invest more in it. And so, I think why he feels that way is I think the logic here is that it's just that many 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 investments fail but if you have a winner uh, it and you keep it you will and you're smart to keep it you will grow a lot of you can make from a little bit of money a lot of money you can hundredfold thousandfold your investment but you have to hang on on, on to it eh? and so Probably the right strategy for startups is you invest in several, eh? um, a whole bunch of them, but you don't invest more in losers eh? because that's an endless pit. Um, and I would also not be willing to invest in winners because it can always turn around, but it's probably very wise to just keep your investment. In the losers, you keep the investment until it goes to zero and it's gone. But in the winners, you also keep your investment until it grows into billions and there is really almost no <laughs> upward potentials anymore, like it's fully reached the potential and, and then you only then you cash out. I think that's a much better strategy. If I would have followed that since I started investing in Bitcoin, I would have made a lot more money and lost a lot less. Eh? I would have a lot more bitcoins today as I would have barely sold any 
and I would have done some other investments in things that have potential like NXT, for example, but I would not have continued to invest in it as it would as it was going down. That really has costed me a lot in much more losses. So I missed a lot of opportunity by taking money off the table in Bitcoin as it went up. I have much less Bitcoin today than I started out with. And I made a lot more losses with NXT. Of course, I'm not talking about the future. Eh? This is all about the past. Eh? But um, that's the situation. So my investment strategy is going to change. Though I'm trying not to change too much right now. Uh, because I've learned also in the past that that's a, a bad idea. Uh, so, I mean, I took uh, some money off the table a lot of money off the table with NXT, but uh, I still am keeping a quite big exposure. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so that's my plan for the future, to, to sit tight in investments that are going well and to not sell um, and that allows me to liquidate if I need to spend money or, or want to invest in something instead of selling the winner I'm gonna just switch losers uh, if, if, if they are not going well I'll use that money to spend on my life or to invest in something else I think that's a better approach. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do that, implement that strategy. When this strategy is working, because every strategy works, and then there is a time it doesn't work. And for me, the strategy that I have been following hasn't worked very well at all. The past two years has led to a lot of losses but later on this strategy will work i still think we will get a bubble in uh, cryptocurrencies again and uh, altcoins will end up having more profits than bitcoin and so um but yeah so when the when when i finally am right about that i plan to switch investment strategy and um, basically dump um, switch all the all the poorly performing investments um, get rid of them or uh, spend the money or uh, switch it into another new investment that has the potential but I will keep the winners and for now for my my judgment is that Bitcoin is a winner it is a market leader it has um, it continues to grow so it's a good investment it goes in cycles so you can make some money if you sell on a high and buy back on a low uh, you can do that but the most important thing is that you don't that you just hang on to your investment um, as long as possible and hang on to your bitcoins I think that's the right strategy and so be very careful when you start selling uh, bitcoins and try to make a profit um, buying them back later because that works until it doesn't uh, some I mean Bitcoin does go up uh, times 10 in a bull market and um, um, it comes unexpected and uh, you when you for example when it doubles and you try to sell some and try to buy back them later it can really totally fail and um since we didn't have a, a hyper bull a bull market for two years um the longer this takes the more likely it is going to come so i think that's really not worth it to try to uh, play the market this way at this point um but yeah, for me, NXT uh, clumps, the altcoins I have invested in, they are not going to make it, I think. Um, so if we get a new bull market, I'll probably sell all of them and um, for another investment. 
or I'll probably spend that. If I need spending money, I will sell that to spend that and I will keep the bitcoins. Um, and also I think gold, silver uh, is not a good investment anymore. I, 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 I don't think that. I think um, even though short term it looks interesting since it has gone down so much for so long since 2011 versus 2016, five year bear market. Um, so, so short term this is good, but long term uh, I think it's proven now that the bear market, sorry, the bull market is over uh, for gold and silver. Uh, it was a nice ride from 1999 till 2011, 12 year bull market. Almost every year it went up. Uh, so, um, so a lot of profits have been made there, but um, not for the ones that entered in 2011 and. I think a good time to get rid of it is uh, if we have another bump, but I wouldn't count on the breaking the all time high. I think $1,600 is um, good for gold. Uh, probably it will be a bear, uh, sorry, how do you call that? Uh, a bull trap. People will start to become, I believe again, in, 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 the, in the gold bull market. If it goes up from here, uh, I think it's $1,100 or so, $2,600, then um, People will believe again it as people will start investing in it, but probably it will be the um, the the last um, well that cat bounce we because we didn't even had a dead cat bounce in those five years it only went down gold so it never went up again so so we we, we will have a bounce very likely I thought two three years ago already we would have a bounce it still didn't happen so. But I think that's a very good time to get rid of it and um, focus on other investments if that were to happen. But I have already lowered my uh, gold uh, and silver position uh, a lot. Um, but yeah, my timing was not good for that. Um, so yeah, a change in investment strategy. In the past I've done that too, but my timing was wrong. Chances are quite high. My timing is also wrong for NXT here uh, to lower my exposure so much. Um, that will probably be, be um, proven to be a wrong um, timing. But um, um, the money that I uh, raised from raised from that uh, I spent. Well, I plan to spend that in uh, starting my own cryptocurrency and I think that's a great opportunity and uh, that means that I'm really going to um, start thinking as an entrepreneur more and less as an investor and so that's why I really like also the idea to keep the winners as an entrepreneur this and doesn't uh, and doesn't start to really sell part of his company when it's a lot bigger eh? I think that's a very good approach that I'm planning to do also with my investments. So cut back a lot on different investments, just keep a few that are winners. Uh, that's my plan. And um, and uh, thinking as an entrepreneur, I think uh, there is a big opportunity in uh, cryptocurrency because the business models of most cryptocurrencies are really not good. They don't lead to growth or to creating value for the coin holder. Um, and there are, I think, a lot of misconceptions in how a cryptocurrency should be built. Um, this is a new market, so there is a, a lot of potential in that, but, um, um, yeah, so that's, uh, I think I might succeed in, um, having a lot more, uh, growth of, for that money that I took out NXT. Well, part of it, I invest in self 411 comp, a company that has strong growth in users. Of course, that's a better investment than a cryptocurrency that doesn't have that. I think, of course, it also all depends on the entrepreneur and how much confidence I have in him. But yeah, uh, the, 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 the leader in, in NXT doesn't even reply to uh, my um, concerns. That's really uh, a very, very, very uh, big problem. And um, but yeah, and, and, and the leader of self 411 does so. Um, so yeah, that's just a short video of my uh, line of thinking. And um, 
that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.